Hey everybody, happy summer. It's Joanne Curtin. I'm here for a market update. Boy, are we ready for this. Okay, so a couple things though before I give you um, the macro view of what's happening uh, migration-wise um, into the, the, with the four states that people from Georgia are going to, and then the four states that are moving to Georgia, coming to Georgia, and we actually have a new one, uh, a fifth state migrating into Georgia, so I'll share that with you. On the macro view, the micro view, um, there are, I got three of the top um, high schools in our market that are really cooled off. Their inventory is rising, and so competition is growing. And then the, um, the most heated markets, the three that have the lowest inventory where there's not a lot of properties, and so that demand really is high. And we'll share those with you soon. Um, but I'm curious, I've got a couple things to ask if you knew, okay? So did you know, um, in any market, no matter what's happening, um, there's always five groups moving. Uh, death, unfortunately, divorce, diamonds, getting married, diapers, um, and the last one is downsizing, and that would be like a lifestyle audit. Uh, downsizing your expenses, moving to a different state or home, also, the downsizer means seniors, seniors that are downsizing or moving, um, just moving, uh, transitioning to assisted living or a different home from the larger one. All right, and by the way, with that group, um, that downsized lifestyle audit, Tom shared with me this morning, the morning brew, I believe he emailed me, um, had just come out with the article saying that, um, with, you know, with talk about inflation, more major categories are down, obviously, but rent is so high. And so with those shelter costs so high, part of that lifestyle audit downsizing group are first time home buyers, because what a lifestyle audit to try to go buy when rents are so high. So that lifestyle audit is really, was explained here um, in the morning brew, <laughs> so funny. Despite um, Zillow and apartment listings saying that it's softening rent, the rents are high. They are really high. Okay, um, lastly, did you know that we have an instant offer program? Um, if we, Tom or I, or a group of investors um, are, are able to look at your property and match up with you wanting to just not list it um, and sell for cash, um, and pick your closing date, that is a huge option. Um, and I wanted to make sure that you knew that that instant offer program is available. You can sell your home, not list it, um, have a cash buyer, and pick your closing date. It's pretty easy. Um, all right, and then lastly, Alive in Roswell, guys, is tonight. The streets will close off by five. Parking will be tricky. We have a lot. Park for free. You can come and be with us. Okay, so here we go. Um, the, the migration, so my Real Trends Journal quote um, is quoting something that I'll read to you also about um, the migration trends, but coming into Georgia, these are not new to us. You all know someone that's come in from New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and California. We have a new one now though, a fifth one that um, is now coming in from Illinois and Chicago mostly, okay? Um, in this article I'll bring up, I'm going to read what my Trends Journal is quoting. So some markets are at risk of home price declines, okay? According to the Special Housing Risk Report of ATOM data, New Jersey, Illinois, and Inland California have maintained a presence for several quarters in this report, which identifies the nation's most vulnerable housing markets. Three states contain 31 of the 50 counties that are at the highest risk of price deterioration. Chicago and New York City is home to seven and five vulnerable counties, respectively. So the report measured home affordability, unemployment, other economic indicators that fourth quarter of 2022. So there's always that tried and true rule though that we follow, um, and you know this, whether cash or not, whether you're doing an interest or paying cash, um, the goal is just to get the lower price of the home, okay, regardless of the interest rate. 
and then you can always refinance that when it becomes more favorable. So that's kind of the tried and true. Okay, so let me get to our micro info, which is high schools. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the cooler markets. There's the top three cooled, cooled markets in our zones that we track, and we track a ton of high schools. Um, I'm gonna show you right here. You probably have seen this in our emails when you open our, stat, our data, okay? This one is Roswell. We have like 35 charts of different high schools in our zones, and you really should be looking at yours. It's good stuff. Ask us, we'll send them to you. Okay, so for the most cooled off markets, number three is Sandy Springs, North Springs. Their inventory grew 45% from this time la since last year. Okay, so you can, we're comparing it to last year. It grew 45%. Um, Canton Creek View is number two. Um, Canton Creek View High School, 49% growth. And the number one, most cooled off market with the most competition grew with inventory of 166% increase of inventory. That's Roswell Milton High School. Wow. Okay, a lot of competition there. Um, the heat, the most heated markets, the top three high schools for the most heated markets are number three came in as uh, Wheeler High School for Marietta, 39% down. For inventory so wow it's a lot um, you know it's a lot harder to find a property if you're in that zone number two Johns Creek Northview High School inventory went down 54% since this time last year and then number one came in at Johns Creek not um, no surprise there Johns Creek is in demand we just had another client shared at our sales meeting this morning um, interested in Johns Creek. That grew, excuse me, that inventory went down 66% for Chattahoochee High School. So boy, um, that is a hot zone right now. So if you have any questions um, at all about the information that I shared with you, please drop a message, call us, email, and we'll be here to help. Bye. Have a great weekend.